Welcome back to AI Reviews. I am your host, Lee. Today we are having an AI review Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, the sequel to the 1988 classic four times, ranging from loving it to hating it. I don't know how much of a desire there is for this movie, but let's see what our AI thinks. When the whimsical darkness of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice first swirls onto the screen, it feels like a spirited invitation into a world where the bizarre meets the hilarious in a perfect dance. This sequel reinvigorates the eccentric charm of Tim Burton's original with a fresh twist, keeping the spirit alive while introducing new adventures that resonate with both nostalgia and innovation. The film returns us to the quirky and otherworldly charm of Beetlejuice, played once again by the inimitable Michael Keaton, whose performance is as delightful and wild as ever. In this sequel, Beetlejuice's antics are not only the source of chaos but also of unexpected heart and connection, revealing layers to the character that were only hinted at in the original. The storyline cleverly explores themes of redemption and the meaning of home, turning what could have been a simple comedic romp into a more substantial exploration of relationships and personal growth. What truly makes Beetlejuice Beetlejuice a joy to watch is its commitment to creativity. The visual style is unmistakably Burton-esque, filled with gothic elements, vibrant contrasts, and imaginative designs that transform every scene into a visual feast. The art direction and costumes are particularly noteworthy, each frame styled to perfection to enhance the surreal, dreamlike quality of the film. The world of Beetlejuice has never felt more alive or more inviting, with a palette that extends the language of the original film into new, eye-catching directions. The new characters introduced in this sequel are as colorful and memorable as the returning cast. Each brings a unique flair to the film, complementing Keaton's performance and enriching the story's universe. The interactions between characters are filled with witty dialogue and a sense of timing that keeps the laughter flowing while also weaving in poignant moments. These relationships are the heart of the film. They add depth to the comedy and create a narrative that's as emotionally engaging as it is entertaining. The soundtrack of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice deserves a special mention. It skillfully blends classic themes from the first film with new compositions, creating an auditory experience that is both familiar and fresh. The music plays a pivotal role in setting the tone of the film, capturing the whimsical, eerie, and outright fun aspects of the story. It's a perfect match for the visual spectacle, enhancing the overall mood and complementing the film's thematic goals. In terms of pacing, the film strikes an ideal balance between fast-paced comedic sequences and slower, more introspective moments. This pacing allows the audience to savor the humorous setups and payoffs, while also getting invested in the characters' journeys. The film never feels rushed or slow. Instead, it moves with a rhythm that matches the unpredictable nature of its title character. In conclusion, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is a triumph of style, humor, and heart. It extends the legacy of its predecessor with a fresh vibrancy that captures the essence of what made the original so beloved. For its brilliant execution and the sheer joy it brings, I give Beetlejuice Beetlejuice a glowing four-fourth stars. It's a cinematic experience that charms and enchants, proving once again that the world of Beetlejuice is a place we're always happy to visit. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, the long-awaited sequel to Tim Burton's iconic film, revisits the macabre yet whimsical world that captivated audiences decades ago. With Michael Keaton reprising his role as the mischievous and eccentric Beetlejuice, the film aims to recapture the original's charm while introducing new twists and characters. While it largely succeeds in delivering a visually stunning and entertaining experience, the film occasionally falters in its narrative execution, which somewhat undermines its overall impact. The film's strongest suit is its visual and stylistic flair. Burton's signature aesthetic is on full display, with elaborate set designs and vibrant costumes that create a feast for the eyes. The world of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is both familiar and fresh, filled with the gothic charm and quirky details that fans of the original will love. The visual effects are particularly impressive, enhancing the supernatural elements without overwhelming the story's more human moments. Michael Keaton's performance as Beetlejuice is as dynamic and captivating as ever. He brings a chaotic energy that drives the film and reminds us why this character became so beloved. His timing and delivery breathe life into Beetlejuice's antics, providing much of the film's humor and heart. The supporting cast also delivers strong performances, particularly the newcomers who bring a new depth to the ensemble, 
although their characters are not always given enough screen time to fully develop. Where the film encounters its primary issues is in its plot. The storyline attempts to weave together multiple narrative threads, including themes of redemption and the impact of past actions. However, these themes feel somewhat forced and are not explored with the depth they deserve. The plot can feel disjointed at times, with certain subplots not fully realized or integrated smoothly into the main story. This leads to a narrative flow that can seem sporadic, leaving some potentially interesting character arcs feeling rushed or incomplete. The pacing of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is another area of concern. While the film maintains a lively pace that mirrors the chaotic nature of its title character, this sometimes comes at the expense of story coherence. Key plot points are hurried along, and transitions between scenes can be abrupt, making the storyline hard to follow at times. This pacing issue detracts from the film's ability to build a cohesive narrative arc, occasionally leaving the viewer wanting more substance to match the style. Despite these criticisms, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is undeniably entertaining. The film's humor, enhanced by clever writing and Keaton's performance, lands well, providing plenty of laughs. The soundtrack complements the film's tone perfectly, blending whimsical scores with darker, more dramatic pieces that enhance the atmospheric setting. In conclusion, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is a visually captivating and enjoyable sequel that successfully brings back the spirit of the original while stepping into new territory. However, its plot and pacing issues prevent it from fully realizing the potential of its premise. For its ability to entertain and visually enchant, I give the film a solid three to four stars, acknowledging both its strengths and its areas for improvement. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, the sequel to Tim Burton's cult classic, dives back into the macabre and whimsical world with a blend of old charm and new narratives. While the film captures the visual and thematic spirit of its predecessor, it stumbles in crafting a coherent narrative, resulting in a sequel that struggles to find its footing amidst its ambitions. The film triumphs in its visual presentation, a characteristic strength of Burton's style. The set design and costumes are meticulously crafted, creating an immersive gothic atmosphere that is both nostalgic and novel. The attention to detail in the visual effects enhances the surreal, otherworldly experience, staying true to the original's aesthetic while introducing new elements that expand this bizarre universe. Michael Keaton reprises his role as the titular character with the same chaotic energy and comedic flair that made Beetlejuice iconic. His performance is a highlight, delivering each line with an unmatched zeal that captures the essence of the character's anarchic spirit. However, the film's reliance on Keaton's performance to carry much of the narrative exposes its weaker elements, particularly the plot. The storyline of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice attempts to introduce complex new themes, including redemption and the consequences of past actions, but these are not fully realized. The plot feels fragmented, with multiple subplots that intersect awkwardly, detracting from a focused narrative progression. This disjointed storytelling leads to a confusing pace, where significant moments are either rushed or lost amid less relevant scenes. The attempt to balance the original's irreverent humor with deeper storytelling results in a muddled narrative that often feels like it's trying to serve too many masters. Character development, aside from Beetlejuice, is another area where the film falters. New characters are introduced with potential for significant impact, but are not adequately developed, leaving them to feel like mere accessories to the spectacle rather than integral parts of the story. This lack of character depth is disappointing as it prevents the film from fully engaging the audience beyond superficial interactions. Despite these narrative and character issues, the film remains engaging through its humor and iconic interactions between characters. The script manages to capture some of the original's quirky, dark humor, providing laughs and entertainment that will appeal to fans of the original. The soundtrack also plays a pivotal role, echoing the eerie yet playful tone of the film and successfully evokes the unique ambience that fans expect. In conclusion, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is visually stunning and entertaining, but ultimately falls short of its potential due to a fragmented plot and underdeveloped characters. While it succeeds as a homage to the visual and performative elements of the original, it does not fully deliver a satisfying narrative experience. For its efforts to revive and expand the Beetlejuice universe, I give it a critical two-fourth stars, 
recognizing both its achievements and its shortcomings. All right, let's slice into the mess that is Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, a sequel that tries and spectacularly fails to recapture the manic energy and dark charm of Tim Burton's original masterpiece. This film is yet another example of Hollywood's relentless assault on nostalgia, parading around in the carcass of a classic without capturing any of its soul. It's clear the creators banked on us being too blinded by our love for the original to notice, but let's not mince words, this sequel is an absolute disaster. First off, the plot is a hodgepodge of half-baked ideas that feels like someone threw darts at a board of potential storylines and decided, yeah, that'll do. The film tries to reintroduce the chaotic Beetlejuice with new twists that completely miss the mark. Instead of the clever, biting humor and the subtle undercurrents of satire that defined the original, we get a series of slapstick gags and poorly written jokes that feel like they were pulled from a bargain bin of discarded sitcom scripts. Michael Keaton's return as Beetlejuice should have been the sequel's saving grace, yet even this feels hollow. While Keaton throws himself into the role with gusto, the script gives him nothing to work with. His lines are a sad echo of the character's former wit, proving that you can't resurrect the magic of a bygone era by simply slapping on a layer of fresh paint. And then there's the matter of the new characters, oh, the new characters. They're about as forgettable as they come, cardboard cutouts with no depth or meaningful contribution to the story. They wander in and out of scenes with no real purpose, failing to add any of the complexity or charm that we might expect from a Burton universe. It's like watching a parade of missed opportunities march by, each more disappointing than the last. Visually, sure, the film retains some of the stylized gothic elements that made the original a feast for the eyes, but even this feels like a cheap trick. It's as if the filmmakers thought they could distract us from the atrocious plot with some quirky set designs and over-the-top costumes. But we're not fooled. The visual flair feels disconnected from the story, a superficial nod to Burton's aesthetic that lacks the underlying emotional resonance or narrative cohesion that made Beetlejuice such a standout film. In conclusion, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is a textbook case of how not to do a sequel. It relies too heavily on our nostalgia, thinking it can coast on our fond memories of the original without delivering anything of substance. Instead of a worthy successor, we get a soulless, disjointed mess that leaves us yearning for the days when Beetlejuice was synonymous with innovative storytelling and subversive humor. For its failure to respect its roots while trying to exploit our nostalgia, I give Beetlejuice Beetlejuice a scathing one-quarter stars. This film doesn't just miss the mark, it wasn't even aiming for the right target. If you made it this far thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. I typically have at least two videos out per week either AI or real reviews depending on what has come out. Tomorrow we have a real review of the fall guy.